Wait a minute. What's the idea of taking a pot shot at a gent? Well, has gone her. Frisco, you old son of a gun. Well, I... <laughs> Say, I mistook you for somebody else. There's three or four gents would like to get me. Uh, anyhow, I, I thought you were still in jail. Well, I'm supposed to be. But instead of making a getaway over the wall like you did, I just got myself smuggled in an outbound garbage truck. Mmm. The smell was terrible. <laughs> uh, are you drifting for the border? No, I'm kind of figuring on hiring out to some cow outfit around here, where I'm not known as well as I am up north. Mountains is safer, and I could use a right handy hat. What's your game, Frisco? Well, I sort of a free and easy change in the brands. What? Oh, nothing exactly criminal. The, the only Omri's I steal from is the other rustlers. I see. No, much obliged. I think I'll stick to cow punching. Besides, there's a gent move down here lately that I want to keep my eye on. Mm. Me and him used to ride range together. Well, somebody blowed the boss's safe. I never could figure out how that stolen stuff got in my bedroll. But I got a pretty good idea that the gent I'm referring to put it there. I aim to prove it. That's what they had you in jail for, huh? Sure. And right away he pulls up stakes and leaves the country. I hear he changed his name. Come down here and start the Cowtown Bank somewhere. For which he had to have money. Yep, and I figured it was the money out of that blowed safe. Hmm. What's going on over there, Frisco? Oh, maybe just some deer hunting. Yeah, maybe. Pretty good shooting, Fresco, huh? Oh, that weren't so good. I missed it clean the first time. <laughs> Say, it seems to me like there's a powerful lot of shooting over there for just deer hunting. I said maybe deer hunting. And then again, maybe it's up our Bull Legal in his outfit up to something. Bull Legal? What's his game? Oh, cattle rustling and occasionally holding up a stage or a bank if there's one handy. Mm-hmm. Bad medicine. Yeah. He's the rustler that I've been changing brands on. He don't seem to like it very well. <laughs> That's what gave me that nervous trigger finger. I see. Tarzan. Come on, son, hold. I gotta be going, Frisco. Which way is the town? Well, you shortcut across the ravine there, and, and you'll hit the trail just over the ridge. Thanks, that's fine. Awful glad to see you again, Frisco. Be good, will you? You betcha. Hold it, boy. City? If they get after you, you hightail for the mountains. I got a hideout I'd be plumb glad to share with you. Thanks, Frisco. I won't be forgetting it. So long. So long. I'll be expecting you. Hi, Blunt. Howdy, Legal. I wasn't expecting you out here. I got something important for you, Bull. Yeah? What happened? Had to use both barrels. The shotgun messenger and the driver, too. Dead? Both of them. Where's the express box? 
I left it out there with the boys to blow open. Figured there might be some useless stuff they could scatter around on the back trail. That'd get any posse pointing their nose in the wrong direction. It's the right smart idea, Bull. Sure. Figured it might get the sheriff to thinking Fresco done it. But if I'd have known you was coming out from town, I'd have waited to get the money and brung it along in tonight. I'll meet you at the bank. That's how I figured. What I came out to talk to you about is Hap Connors. They ain't caught him, have they? No, but I heard from a ranger that he was headed this way until they lost his trail. Or maybe he's making for the border. And then again, maybe he's heading south looking for me. Oh. Here's his picture. Show it to the boys and tell them I'll double that reward for the gent that brings him in dead. That's the only way I want any sheriff to find him. I got you. Pretty swell, Tarzan, huh? See, they're brand new, too. Wonder how they come to be way out here. I, I, I'm just riding along, you know. Pick them up. Slippers. See them feet. I know what I'm doing. I'm just going to walk. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to walk. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to walk. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to walk. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to walk. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to walk. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to walk. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to walk. I don't know what I'm doing. Boys, find any stuff to scatter on that back trail? Oh, there wasn't much. Just a pair of slippers. And we throwed them on the road and then the wrappers off of them further down. Yeah, that's all it was. Well, anyway, that ought to be enough to head the posse in Frisky's direction. The sheriff's out looking for the stage now. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he finds it. Yeah. All you fellas got to do is to lay low until I get back to town. Hey, are you going somewhere? Only a little honeymoon trip. After my wedding tomorrow. <laughs> oh, oh, you're really going to get hooked up then, huh? Yeah, well, don't you think it's about time? <laughs> Girl, come on out here, you bad thing. You should have known better than run around with that no good yellow tomcat. I told you, you can't trust men, ever. <laughs> oh. I beg your pardon, miss. Are these your slippers? Why? Why, those are the ones I ordered for the dance tonight. But I don't understand. How did you get them? Oh, me? Oh, I just picked them up on the way in. 
Cute little cusses, ain't they? Mm-hmm. I know. I'll bet the storekeeper gave them to you to give to me. Yes, that's it. He asked me to fetch him over when he knew I was riding this way. <laughs> Say, I like this little cream colored one. What are you crying about, baby, huh? Here. Are you fond of kittens? Sure I am, miss. Puppies and babies, all such like. <laughs> I guess I better be looking up the boss, miss. Kind of that sign out there. Well, I'm the boss. You? Mm-hmm. And if you're looking for a job, start Roundup on Monday. Well, thanks, miss. I'll sure be here bright and early. But aren't you going to ask how much we pay? Well, seeing as how you didn't ask me for any recommendation, I just leave let the wages go till you find out how good a puncher I am. Oh. Well, I guess I better be drifting. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you get back in there where you belong now. <laughs> well, thanks for bringing the slippers. You're welcome, miss. Are you coming to the dance tonight? Well, I might drift in for a while if, uh, if, uh... Well, I'd be glad to save you a dance. Gosh, miss. Thanks. I sure be there, all right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Come on, baby. 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 Come on, Got any soap in there, partner? They plumb neglected me in here. Mm, sure. Uh oh. Just a minute. Here, I dropped it. Here you are. Much flies. You well acquainted around here? I reckon I know every person in the valley. You a stranger? What? I met nobody but a girl up the road here a ways. Just wondering what her name might be. What does she look like? Well, she's about 15 hands high. Mighty pretty blonde hair. Not a bit hard to look at. Well, I know several answer and then General Markins. Yeah, but this is different. Prettiest blue eyes you ever saw. You ever see a violet in the early morning with the dew on it? Sun just beginning to shine? Can't say I ever noticed in particular. Well, that's just what hers looks like when she's looking right at you. Cutest little nose, just turns up kind of speck. Not pug, you know, just cute. Does she live in a gray ranch house with white trimmings and a red barn off to one side? That's her, all right. Know who she is? Yeah. Her name's Ruth Warren. If you come to the dance tonight, you'll see her there. Well, thanks. I'm aiming to be there, all right. Hey, John! Dancing with your girl. Yeah. 
Will you and the boys go find horse? And get set convenient to plug him if he tries to make a getaway. All right, boys. Come on, boys. <laughs> enjoyed that dance more than any dance I ever had. I enjoyed it, too. Here he is, boys. Come on, bring him along. Come on, yeah. I want you to get hit over there in them bushes while I go inside. And if he tries to get out through one of them windows, let him have it. Don't you think it might be a good idea for me to run over to Marty, your ranch, kind of get the lay of land before I start to work? Well, I'm, I'm afraid I couldn't give you much time tomorrow. You see, I'm getting married in the afternoon. Married? Oh, I see. Well, I'm sure wishing you a lot of luck. Thank you. The man you're marrying, I don't have to wish him anything. He just naturally has all the luck in the world. You'll meet him pretty soon. He had to run down to his office. He'll be back. I'd sure like to know him. If you'd like to come to the wedding, I'd like very much to have you. Well, thanks, miss. I, I don't know, I don't think I'd know exactly how to dress for a wedding. Oh, oh Jim. Howdy, friend. Come on, Jim. Oh, Jim. Oh, this is my fiance, Mr. Blunt, Mr. My name is Connors. Ain't it? Hap Connors. Ain't it kind of careless for an escaped convict to show up in public? I reckon I'll take care of him until the sheriff shows up. No, you don't. No, you don't, Blount. Back up. Take your hand away from there. Take it away. Back up now. Easy. Take it easy. Now, listen, you folks. This quarrel is personal and private-like. I wouldn't want to see anybody get hurt. Everybody keep quiet and stay right where you are. Now, Blount, don't you move. Stay right where you are. Did he get away? Yeah, he got out through one of the windows. And someone knocked Bull cold. Come on, let's go and see if we can get it. Hey, hey, Gee Willie, 
hands. Ah! Ah! Frisco! Gee, I'm sorry. Whoa. Come on, let me help you up. I didn't know it was you. What'd you trail me for, you old devil? I thought it was some of that gang back in town that tried to get me. Well, I was just sneaking back into town. See if I could give you a little protection if you needed it. I guess I needed it, all right. You know that fellow that was aiming to shoot you? That's Bull Legal, the one I was telling you about. Legal? Blount had him planted there to kill you. He's the one that was trying to hold you on the inside. I see. So it's Blount now, huh? It was Wilson when he rode range with me up north. I suspicioned he was the fellow you was after, he being a banker and all. But we've got to get to my hideout over the range. Wait a minute, Frisco. I gotta get back to town pronto. Have you gone plumb loco, Hap? Just about, I guess. Over a girl. And she's marrying that Bronx. I gotta get back to town quick as I can, see if I can't do something to stop it. Oh, that is a mangy layout. All right. I'll go along and help you. Wait a minute, Frisco. I better go in and tend to it alone. Won't attract as much attention. Let me go along. Hmm. Well, so long, Frisco. So you look out for yourself, Hap. I'm trying my best. How do you know? Well, both the messenger and the driver got a load of buckshot. Let's look it over, boy. Don't see the mailbag any place either. Jim, I feel so tired after all that excitement tonight. I think I'll say good night. Good night. I'm sure you must. Say, Ruth, you know I'd feel easier if you'd keep this handy. But, Jim, what would I need that for? Connors. He might figure on doing something to you to hurt me. Jim, I'm sure he wouldn't. Why, he brought me these slippers this afternoon and... He fetched you them slippers? And didn't you tell me you ordered them sent by express? Yes, but the storekeeper asked him to bring them. Well, it ain't likely a storekeeper would be using an escaped convict for a messenger. Jim, what are you thinking? That maybe Hap Connors can tell why the stage is late. But I don't understand. Listen, Ruth. When I found the evidence that sent Connors to prison, he swore he'd get even. And there ain't no sense taking chances. Well... All right, Jim, if you think so. Well, good night. Good Thank night. You. I'm all the mother you've got now. Poor old Tabby was run over by a wagon this evening. Dirt you and don't give you any dinner and I'm just terrible. Excuse me, miss. Now, don't be afraid of me, none. There's just a few things I want to say to you before your wedding. Well, that's all right, miss. You just keep that gun pointed right to me till I speak my little piece. Then you can make up your mind what to do with me. Out 
Howdy, Sheriff. Hi, Jim. Hello, boys. Hello, Hello Jim. Jim. Did you find the stagecoach? Yeah, at the bottom of Wolf Canyon. An accident? No, hold up. Driver and messenger both killed. Say, that's too bad, ain't it? Yeah. Say, Sheriff, I've been talking to Miss Warren about them slippers that Connors fetched her. Yeah? You know, there's only one place that Connors could have got them slippers. Why don't you come on up with me and check with Miss Warren about what I told you? All right, Jim. Here, boy. Take care home. Sure, I'll do. You wait here, boys. I'll be right back. All right, sir. You can't make me believe that about Jim. Well, anyhow, Miss, you might postpone the wedding till I can get some proof for you. Keep them up, Blount. Stay right where you are. Put your hands up. Steady. Back up there. Now stay right where you are. Take it easy. Hands up. Keep them up. Get in there. Keep that hand up high. Give me that gun. All right. I reckon you can't pull out of this, Connors. Ruth, the sheriff would like to know about them slippers you got on. He fetched them to you, didn't he? Why? Why, yes. And you ordered them sent by express, didn't you? Yes, but the storekeeper asked him to bring them. Ah, hey, you see? Hmm. Thanks, miss. The stage was held up this afternoon. And what you say makes it right plain who got that express box. Why, Sheriff? I arrest you, Connors, for highway robbery and murder. tip for you. About the stage hold up? No. Cleve Bronscombe was coming in this morning and seen Frisco going out North Fork Trail. Is he sure? Passed right close to him. Hmm. I'd like to take my boys and corral that old butter. But I reckon we'd better stick right here close, as long as we got this Connors on our hands. Well, don't let that stop you. I can round up some men for you, plenty able to take care of Connors. Would you do that, Jim? Why, sure. Si, senorita, what's on your mind? I hear the stagecoach here stop. Yeah, you know anything about it? Si, senor. Yesterday I very far out. I sit down by the roadside. My feet is very tired. Sure, I get you. Well, what happened? Pretty soon I hear the shooting. Bang, bang, boom, boom. What time of day was this? Oh, this is very late. The sun, she is almost down. Then I see a man, he come riding by very fast. You have a big box, like on his saddle horn. Say, you know this hombre, you see him again? Si, senor. All right, come along with me. Come over here, Connor. You ever see this hombre before? Get over close where you can see him. Si, senor, this is the hombre I tell you about. 
What's up, Sheriff? What's the idea? This woman seen you yesterday making a getaway with that express box. What's well, a lie? I never saw her before. Oh, Sheriff. you know she mean, but I see you on the blunk of horse. Shut up. Uh, You're telling uh, a lie. Here, here, here. Hey, Take your hands off. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, Take your hands off horse. Say, what are you trying to do anyhow? I'm sorry, Sheriff. I guess I just lost my temper. Yeah? Well, you start anything more and I'll have you put an iron. Come on, senorita. I reckon that ought to be enough to get the sheriff out of town and leave you boys in full control of Connors. Yeah, you're right, boss. See, I, I don't quite get your drift, boss. Well, supposing Connors tries to escape while the sheriff is gone. You'd have to shoot him, wouldn't you? Uh, well, suppose he don't. Well, he will, all right. If you goes into his cell and acts careless enough to let him get hold of your gun. Oh, no. Not my gun. He's liable to get careless, too, about how he uses it. Well, can't you make sure it's loaded with blanks? Oh, well, that's different. And you can pack another gun hid to plug him with when he tries to make a break. Oh, I get you. Now, do you understand? Yeah. All right, come along. Si, si, senor. Adios. Adios. Here's your men, Sheriff. I reckon you know all of them. Sure. Howdy, boys. Howdy. Howdy, Howdy, Sheriff. There ain't no doubt about it being Frisco you seen, Cleve. Oh, no. I seen him close up, Sheriff. Yeah. Well, this time I figure on catching up with that old reprobate. You boys think you can keep this Connors here behind the bars while I'm away? He's a desperate hombre. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that, Sheriff. We'll take good care of him. We sure will. Well, I hope you find Frisco, Sheriff. And I'm plumb sorry you ain't gonna be on hand for my wedding this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sort it myself, Jim. So long. So long. Now I'll tell you the lays, boys. I wouldn't send a thing like that to anybody. Oh, I think it's beautiful. I'll tell you, girls, I saw that before. Mrs. Jones had that for a wedding present. Oh, but this is a beautiful present. How do you I just thought you could never get it. There, darling. You know this marriage, it's just like draw poker. You never know when you're going to improve your hand. Now, the first time I was married, oh, I was all doubtful and flustered-like. But Bill turned out the best of the whole lot. Only he didn't last long. Now, Jack and I'll wait in here so as we can plug Connor coming down the hall in case you miss fire. Sure your gun's all right? Yeah, they're all right. This has got blanks in it. And this is loaded. <laughs> Ready for your dinner? No, I guess not. That jail grub in my stomach just naturally don't seem to agree. That's too bad. You seem to run on a tough luck, don't you, Connor? Yeah, kind of. Well, what's tough luck for one fellow is good luck for another. What do you mean? The sheriff said this Warren girl is going to get the reward for your capture. It'll make a nice wedding present, ain't it? She's not married yet, is she? Oh, no, not yet, but... Might be inside a half an hour. Well, a lot of things could happen in half an hour. <laughs> Do you have a cigarette, Connors? Don't mind if I do. Well, what am I going to do with it? Got a match? 
Well, it's against the rules to give prisoners matches, but I reckon I can give you a light. Thanks. We better go see what's up. Instead of shooting like you'd order, he swatted me one on the jaw. Oh. Look, he got out the window. Oh, oh boy. Oh, we made it all right. Yes, we made it all hurry right. Up, let's go, hurry up. Lord, hurry I'm up. glad to get rid of this. I know you are. Say, hey, how'd you like to have these? What? Where'd you get them? Right in the sheriff's office and under his nose. I know, you can get away with anything. Hurry up, will you? Yeah. Get on, hurry up. Then the second time, I jumped at the chance, anxious. I soon found out I'd married a horse thief. <laughs> like I say, it's a gamble. You never know what you're going to get, my dear. It's a gamble for these poor children. <laughs> Put a sand-blown valley on the map. I reckon you're entitled to the most beautiful flower that ever blossomed in it. He surely is. Quiet, please. Getting married, according to Hoyle, is approved by the statue of the state and the church. But before I begin tying it, I want to find out if there's any liar here, who says it shouldn't be done? If he is, let him speak up pronto, or forever keep his mouth shut. Just a minute, Judge. This is an outrage. What does this mean? We're counting on this gent here occupying a cell that I just vacated in a certain state prison. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't like to have a nice young miss like you tied up with him. If you just go along quiet like with my partner, he'll give me a few days to gather evidence, prove my suspicions. All right, Frisco. Just a minute, you. Stand back, Blount. Easy. Back it up. Back it up. Better come on, miss. I, I guess Hap means it. And don't you be scared none, miss. No harm's gonna come to you. Well, listen, I'll just tarry here just a while, partner, while you get a good start. All go right. ahead, hurry it up. I'll see that you swing for this, Connors. Now listen, Blond. I wouldn't be building any gallows till I was sure whose neck was going to stretch on it. I don't know who this horse is, miss, but he'll probably find his way home after we turn him loose. I won't go. Now, see here. Hat said I wasn't to use any more force than's necessary, but he's plumb set on breaking up this wedding, so you might just as well come on. Well, I guess, folks, I'm going to have to leave you. Don't let my leaving break up the party none. Off. 
Well? She won't eat them beans and sow belly. Of course, they ain't real polite grub for a lady. Maybe we could kill her a quail or something. No, can't go popping off no signals today. I, I wish you'd go on in and reason with her. Well, Frisco, last night she said she didn't want to ever see me again. I was just giving her time to make up her mind. Well, you can't set no store on what any woman says. You go on in. You can talk better with women than what I can. I don't want to trouble you none, miss. But them groceries on your plate, they ain't half as bad as they look. Fresco cooked them himself. If Plum breaks his heart, you won't eat them. And besides, they'll keep you from starving to death. I'd rather starve than eat anything you or he gave me. Oh, miss, that's plumb ridiculous. I hate you, both of you. You, you murderers. Gee, miss. I know it's your privilege to think whatever you want to think about me. But I never did murder anybody. But sometime you're going to thank me for what I've done, just as much as you're hating me now. Then why do you keep me here? There's no one to look after my ranch and... And who will feed the kittens? Kittens? Ain't there nobody there to take care of them? No, of course not. Put them in the basket and no one will ever find them. Gee, that is tough. Well, I guess it's up to me to see after them. Oh, but won't they catch you? Maybe so, but I can't let them cats starve to death. By the way, miss, where will I find the milk? In the cow. What you gonna do, Hap? I'm gonna play nursemaid to a litter of kittens. Now, you can't take no chances like that. Frisco, you ought to see the cute little cusses. Why, well, I reckon starving to death would be plumb to spread them for cats. I gotta do it. You know, Miss, I'm kind of worried about Hap going off that way. I saw a funny little shack hidden away back up in the hills. Better take a look at it. Yeah. Come on, boys. Let's go. I'll bet Hap's got into trouble already.
I reckon that's the end of him, all right. They'll be financed by in a couple of days. Let's go back and report to Blanche. Smoke over there. Sure looks like it, sir. Come on, boy. There it is, boys. Come on. Been here all right. Get back, get back. Hands up. I've had an almighty hard time catching up with you, Frisco. I kind of reckon maybe you never would. I wanted to give you this. What is it? It's a pardon signed by the governor just before you escaped. Well, thanks, Sheriff. But now I've got to arrest you all over again for helping kidnap that girl. Where is she? Gosh almighty, ain't she around here somewhere? We ain't seen her. Why, I left her here less than an hour ago. Yeah? Hey, miss! Ruth, where are you? Ruth! Hey, miss! Ruth! Hey, Ruth, where are you? Ruth! Looks like she went this way. Listen, Frisco, you get your horse and trail alone. All right, Sheriff. Don't you worry about me trying to get away. Come on, boys. You think Bond will pay the reward for killing Connors, even if we can't find the body to deliver? Well, what are you worried about? I did the killing, didn't I? Yeah, but the rest of us are in on it, and they're going to divvy that reward. Oh, you think so, huh? Sure I do. And after this, there's going to be a fair split all around, too. Say, what are you driving at? Well, Blunt had better watch his step. You know, he's responsible for that job that sent Connors to jail. I found out all about that. Guess what I told you, and the rest of them feel the same way about it. Oh, yeah? Come on. Q, get around there. 
Come on, get around there. Hold steady. Steady. I don't know about this milking cow. Now, steady, that'll do. Hold it right there now. Be a good fella. Be a good girl. Hello, fella. What is it, Jack? Fool and us just killed Connors. You did, eh? Where is he? His body went over the cliff into the North Fork. We ain't been able to get him out yet. Is Bull there? No, but he said for you to meet him out at the shack. I'll get going right away. Come on. Well, I'm coming along slow but sure. I hope you keep eating. That little gal getting off a laugh out of me. I guess she'd see me here trying to get this milk out of you. How much trouble I had getting this. You wouldn't be screaming and yelling around the way you are. Playing nursemaid to kittens. Come here. Hey, don't hold on like that. Come here. Well, yeah, I know you're going to get it right now. Wait a minute. Yeah, you take it easy there. Let loose. Here you are. Now try that. Yeah, try it, huh? Huh? If you want any after all that trouble, let her. Huh? That's it. Get it. Grab it. Good, huh? Coming too fast, I guess. Well, let's try another one. I'll see if another one's hungry. Come on, here. I'm going to give you a little drop now. Come on. Take a little drop, huh? Don't you want it? The man you're wanting, I caught him for you. Why, what are you talking it's about? True. Robbed the stage. That's why they quarreled over the split Jim took. Why well, I didn't do it. Grab a hold of more. And I am thanking you. 
A whole lot more than you think. There, there, Miss Ruth. It's all right. Everything's all right now. You see, Connors, she just saw legal a little while back shoot a man. The fella he plugged was going to tell how it was Jim Blount that done that safe blowing that you was put away for. Everything's Come all on, right. boys. We're going back to town and pick up Blount. Don't cry like that. But, Sheriff, you find Blount just inside the door. Legal plugged him with a bullet meant for me. Yeah? Yeah, go oh, get him. Boy. Don't cry like that. There, there, Miss Ruth. Come on now, don't cry anymore. It's all over now, nothing to cry about. Listen, I guess I got a lot to thank you for, too. And say I fed your kittens. I had an awful time with that cow, though. Cowboy ain't much of a milker, you know. Finally got enough to feed him. Their little tummies just stood out like a toy balloon. You ought to seen them. <laughs> I guess I'll have to make you partner adopting those kittens, Mr. Connors. Connors? Some folks called me Hap. It's kind of short for happen, I guess, because I happen to meet folks. I'm happy you happen to happen, Pat. <laughs> <laughs>